Hey everybody, my name is Gary Lane and I want to talk to you about your disc clavier system that's in your Yamaha piano. Here's my piano keyboard. I've got a Yamaha and also I just wanted to let you know about the power supply. Mine was built in the mid 90s in Japan and they go bad. And so uh, how do I fix the bad power supply? So here's my story. First off, I want to thank Richie Hayes for all his help. I'll put a link to his, um, his uh, YouTube channel uh, in this YouTube. But uh, the power supply goes bad. What happens is your control panel lights up and then maybe glows for a few seconds and goes dead. Or maybe you've tried uh, plugging it in and, and unplugging it and turning it back on and it's just completely dead. So underneath or behind your control panel is actually a cable that runs back to the power supply. If you follow the power cord from your outlet all the way up and under your piano, you'll find a black box with two sets of wires coming out of one side and the power cable going in the other side, and there's actually a power switch on that box. So the first thing to check is if it's plugged in. Secondly, make sure that that power switch, if someone hasn't moved your piano or bumped it somehow, that the power, uh, the on-off switch is turned off. But thirdly, you're gonna to have to take out the board that's inside that box and send it out to be repaired. Now you can try to fix it yourself. I'm an old avionics guy, so I like working with capacitors and resistors and IC chips and push-pull amplifier circuits and so on and full-wave bridge rectifiers. And I love all that stuff, but I'm not gonna do it. And so you need to send it to a place called Tap Electronics. Their website is tapelectronics.com. And what you have to do is you have to crawl up under your piano Make sure you've unplugged it from the power. And then you need to take off that box. I dismounted mine from the underneath of my piano. And then what I did was I took uh, the screws out of the frame and then I took the board out of the box. And I sent them just the box, uh, just the board that was inside the box. It was about $25 for me to ship it from Atlanta out to California. And I'll let you know what happens. Uh, I'll, I'll augment the story at the end. So that's what you'd have to do. You have to take the board out of the power supply frame or case, and you have to ship them the board. Again, thanks to Richie Hayes and more to follow.